Xavier University of Louisiana track and field on Friday, April 20th, 2018. We're moments away from the start of the Gulf Coast Athletic Conference Championships. Here is the women's 400 meter relay team from Xavier. They will compete at 11 a.m. tomorrow. They are the defending champion. They are ranked number three in the NAIA this season behind Wayland Baptist and conference member Suno. From the left, this is Martina Ladding, Jr. from Opelousas, Louisiana. Alexis Milton, Jr. from Opelousas. From Fort Walton Beach, Florida, sophomore Justice Riggs. And from New Orleans, sophomore Ryan Riley. Welcome, ladies. Uh, you've had a lot of success this year. You set a school record of 46.66 uh, in this, this event about a month ago. You've had qualifying times in most of your uh, races this year. Are you satisfied with the success you've had so far this season? Who wants to speak up on that? We're satisfied, of course, at, um, getting the school record, but we're only just wanting more. Um, tomorrow, we expect to not only run our best, but beat that time that we just hit. Understood. And let me ask you a specific question, Ryan, because you're going to be competing in the long jump yes. at 10 a.m. You're the defending champion in that event, yes. and then you got to jump into the relay. What? How arduous a task is that for you to, to compete at a high level within an hour, 90 minutes? I really just try to focus on one event at, this, at a time. Um, when I'm at the long jump, I focus on long jump. When it's time to get on with the relay, I focus on that. I have excellent teammates who push me to do the best I can, and they calm my nerves in each week. If you had a subpar day in the long jump, would you just put that behind you and just say, next event? Let's let's go get that. Of course, of course. You can't never ever um, just dial down on something that went wrong. You just have to keep pushing and do your best that you can. Okay. Let's talk about the mechanics of the relay. You, you've got 400 meters to cover. You got four runners. You've got a baton. You've got to pass from runner to runner, uh, and you've got a certain zone that you have to successfully pass it in. How nerve wracking is that at times to get the uh, to get the exchange down? I don't think think it's that nerve-wracking we don't really think about it like that it's just like the plan is to just keep getting around the track as fast as we can we don't think about it we just do it and it I guess by this point of the season it, it's very natural it it works every time yeah the more you think about an event is like more likely you'll screw up to be honest so the less you think about it and just do it you come up with success Okay, let's talk about the team race. Last year, Xavier won the, the women's team title by six points over Edward Waters. It was a very tight race. It was not decided until late. What are your feelings about this team, uh, your team, coming into this this year's meet? I think we're coming in stronger. We've been PRing a lot lately. Mm -hmm. We're and, hitting times that we didn't hit until the end of our season, and it's just the beginning, and we were already PRing. So anybody don't expect none of this. Anybody on this team or, or, or any of your teammates who you think will be a big surprise, a good surprise tomorrow? Who should we be looking out um, for there? I do think that we have a, a, high, a triple jumper and jumper, Brandon and Trey, mm -hmm. I believe. High well, high jumper. Yeah, he's a high jumper. Those two will be a big shock tomorrow. What about on the women's team? Any, any good surprises coming there? Mm -hmm. I, think, I think Justice in the 100, be looking out. <laughs> All right, Justice Riggs, watch out for her in the 100-meter dash. That is the Xavier 400-meter relay team, Martina Ladding, Alexis Milton, Justice Riggs, and Ryan Riley. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for your time and best wishes to you and your teammates this week. Thank, thank you. you.